thanks very much, Eric. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Hugo Barra, and I'm part of the mobile product team uh, at Google. Um, well, Eric was talking to you about uh, the supercomputer in your pocket, which, uh, of course, uh, is your mobile phone. And what I wanted to do is actually show you a few specific examples of what exactly we mean by mobile supercomputing. One of the most exciting and challenging technologies that we've been working uh, at, uh, at Google for many years is speech recognition. Two years ago, we launched the first version of our voice search application, which I bet many of you here in the room use every day to search the web. It's really fast. It's really easy. And in fact, voice search has become an incredibly popular application. Just to give you an idea, out of every four searches that we receive from Android devices in the USA, one comes from voice. So it's 25%, which is pretty amazing. So what I wanted to do today is actually show you how we're taking the voice UI to an entirely new level through cloud computing innovation. Let me ask you a question. Have you found yourself, say, rushing at an airport? You've got one bag in one hand, you've got a jacket or maybe you know, a baby on the other hand, and you, you need to send a quick text message, but it's just too hard. Wouldn't it be great if you could do it with just one single click? Let me show you how you're going to be sending your text messages very soon. Send text to Robert Hamilton. Let's meet outside Terminal 5 in 10 minutes. So this is going to process on the cloud for a couple of seconds, uh, and then it's going to come back. Um, so let's see. Perfect recognition. Just nailed it. And by the way, Hugo, the important thing is the, com the, the computer was in the back room somewhere, right? The computer was in the back room somewhere. The computer, the computer was somewhere, not this back room. The computer there was in the data centers. You sipped it all the way somewhere. It did all that work, all the thousands of computers, and it came yes. back in, boom. That's exactly right. So all I have to do here, of course, is just press send, and I'm done. Um, what you saw is called a voice action, and there's a bunch of them in the new Android voice search application. Let me show you another one. Call Grand Hyatt Hotel in Berlin. Oh, let's try that again. Actually, it's right there. And of course, I don't have a SIM card here, so we didn't place the call. But it's incredibly fast. And this was a real live local search. The number is not stored in my address book or anything. It literally took half a second to find it and call it. Let me show you another one. So a friend of mine told me about this museum here in Berlin. He said there's all this cool Egyptian art there. So I want to drive there, but the name is very long, it's complicated, I forgot it. I can't remember what the name of the museum was. Well, maybe I could do something like this. Navigate to the museum with Egyptian stuff. <laughs> and let's see what I get back here. So uh, recognize what I said. So this is going to launch Google Navigation, which will figure out where I want to go. And in fact, it's right there. It's the Pergamon Museum. Right. So I can just click on it and get directions. Now, let's think about what happened here. So first of all, my phone is with me, and it knows that I'm in Berlin. So it knows to search here. Secondly, there are thousands of pages on the web about the Pergamon Museum, which obviously talk about the Egyptian art that's in this museum. So all that Google has to do here is relate and, and connect all these pieces of information together and come up with a magical answer like what you just saw. This is precisely what Eric means by cloud computing innovation. Let me show one more voice action. This happens to be my favorite. Listen to Lady Gaga just dance. So this is going to launch your favorite music application. In my case, it's Spotify, and it's just going to play the song for you. I'll stop that. So. Those are voice actions. They're available today in US English, and they're coming uh, pretty soon in many other languages. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, let's talk about another cloud computing application. This is one of my favorite demonstrations. Um, it's called Google Translate, which Eric also mentioned earlier. So the Google Translate app that's available today from Google Apps in the Android market allows you to type or even speak a phrase in one language and then have it immediately translated and even spoken back to you in one of 50 other languages. So that's pretty cool, and you can try it out. But what I want to do today is I actually want to show you a preview of 
uh, a feature that we've been working on for a little while. It won't be out for a few months. It's called Conversation Mode in Google Translate. And for that, I'm going to invite my colleague uh, Kai Oberbeck on stage to help me out. Please keep in mind, this is experimental, so it may or may not work perfectly. Right. Nice to see you, Kai. Right. Hold on. We're going to go to Germany French. in a second. So, We're in Germany. Um, I know, yes. Uh, so, Kai, uh, I'm a tourist, and you're a salesman at a local shoe store here in Berlin. So we're going to start conversation mode here, uh, and you'll notice that I have a button in English, and you have a button in German. So our conversation would probably go something like this. Do you have these shoes in size 41? Sie haben die Schuhe in Größe 41. Welche Farbe? Which cable? Try that again. <laughs> kind of. Welche Farbe? No. Try it again. Which cable? Welche Farbe? What color? Black or brown would be fine. Schwarz oder braun wäre schön. Wir haben schwarz und braun. We have black and brown. Can you give me a discount if I take both? Können Sie mir einen Rabatt, wenn ich beide nehmen? 20%? Twenty percent. So that's a deal. That's a deal. Feeling done. Right. <laughs> that this really is history, because for fifty years people have talked about being able to do what you just demoed. It's, it's here fantastic. today. So <laughs> conversation mode will be available on Google Translate in a few months. We just wanted to give you a sneak preview. I have just one more demo to show you before I go. Uh, this is actually launching this week. It's the new Street View UI, which will launch as part of an update to Google Maps for Android. And to show you the de demonstration, I'd like to take a quick trip to Florence in Italy. So I'm going to click on the bookmark here in my uh, desktop. So here we are in Florence, in Firenze. I'm going to zoom in a few times uh, and move around. Now, to activate the Street View feature, I can click on a business, or I can just hold in place anywhere on the map, um, So, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. Actually, let me try a different, slightly different place. So here we are. Um, so I can click on this uh, little guy here. We call him Pegman, and it'll just launch the UI for me. So what you see here is a beautiful um, you know, three-dimensional panorama on Street View, and there's a little guy here, which we just launched, and if I drag Pegman around, you'll see this little circle, we call it the pancake, and the pancake actually knows the three-dimensional structure of the scene pretty well, so you can see that it understands that there are buildings and facades, and I can just drag it where I want to go, just like I do on the desktop, and it'll just take me there. Pretty cool, right? Um, so it looks like there's something interesting here down the street, so let's keep going a little bit. Um, let me just try this again. Sorry about that. So let's take an even bigger leap here. So I just keep going down the street, and there's a beautiful building down there, which I would love to take a closer look. Now here, I just want to show off this again. Look how amazingly well is the understanding of the 3D scene here that we have with Street View. So I can actually get very close to that building down there. That's the uh, Santa Croce Cathedral um, here in Firenze, or over in Firenze. Again, I can zoom at it more closely. So if I want to take a look at the very specific details of the facade, I can see them in high resolution. This is beautiful, almost as if I were right there. So these are the demos that I wanted to share with you. Um, I hope you try them all and enjoy them. Thank you, Hugo. Um, now